Hey everybody and welcome back. I know it's been a while. Sorry. It has been some crazy weather here on the farm in Georgia this summer. But we finally got a few pretty days and we got some hay cut. And I want to bring you up to date on what's going on with this rake. So right after that last set of videos, I went to replace the tires. And the tires was too small. I bought and ordered some new ones and ordered some bushings. I got the new tires in and I got the bushings in and then I misplaced the bush bushings So when I got ready to rake hay last time, I just throwed the old tires back on there and went to rake it. The problem is These tines on here Are long. It's about almost probably three-quarters of an inch from that bend to the tip and what happens is as it picks up the hay, it pushes it up against the gearbox and around the pulley, and it gets choked up around the belt. <clears throat> I don't have any old ones on here. I don't believe I left any old ones on here. I think all these is new ones to show you the difference. But I think what I'm going to have to do, at least on part of this bar, is come in here with a cutoff wheel and just cut off just a little bit. Just leave it just past the bend there and take the rest of this off and see how that works. I'm not going to do it with all of it because once it gets past here, it's good to go. Yeah. Also, I've got a few that's bent. And these bars, I know you're supposed to be able to bend them. These bars are bent pretty bad. I mean, you can see where they're rubbing up here. And they're welded in. They're not removable. And of course, some of them has been patched. A couple down here. So where it's hitting, I'm just removing tines. So I'm gonna remove this one. And I've seen another one more ago that was bent. This one right here, you can see it's on the wrong side of that bar. I'm gonna take it off. And any of them I find like that, I've already removed some of them. You can see that we're hitting too bad to even use it the last time. One right here. So a few here and there I took off. One there. So getting back to the bushings. So I looked for these bushings for about a month. And I couldn't ever find them. And so I went ahead and ordered some new bushings. And I got the new ones in. And then I found the old ones. And they were in my dually. So here's what the bushings look like. These are 5 8 by half. And they will go inside the wheels I bought. Which are these right here. And, uh, and that's a half inch bolt that goes through there. So yeah, so now I've got four, I've got eight bushings. I don't need them four, but I ain't going to send them back because these may wear out. But these are run flats. Well, they ain't really run flats. They no flats because they, uh, they're foam filled. And I think they'll work. They're pretty wide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this one tire off. On the other side, I took this side apart right here and cleaned it and inspected it and it all looks good. So I'm not going to do that with this side. I'm just going to uh, put this wheel tire on. If it hits, then I'm going to have to take that off anyway to uh, straighten it out. I'm hoping it won't hit because I believe this is going to be a little narrower than that one as far as the tire goes. And that tire don't really hit either. So that's the plan. So I'm going to yank this one off and we'll see what these wheels look like. This tire actually still holds air good. It's just a dry rod. It's a wheelbarrow tire, which is what those are. But with those being foam filled, I think we'll have a little better luck not having no flats. I guess they're not foam filled but solid rubber. And I think the weight rating on them is pretty high too. So a little big half inch bolt holds us on with a big bushing through this wheel right here. I 
didn't didn't think about the other end of this deal here. The bolt has to be just right to go through that into that other bushing. I was gonna be able to get that. So I'm gonna tighten this up and just see how it acts. If it's too tight, then we'll uh, do something different. bought these especially because of the width and because it's greasable and because it's flat free. These are 480, 408 eights NHS. Alright, well let me yank this other one off and we'll see how it fits. Well, as y'all can see, we've got plenty of clearance here. The tire spins good. It looks plenty tall enough. It's the same height as those other tires. So I think I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna grease everything good. I'm gonna take my cutoff wheel and I'm gonna go down through here. I'm gonna go down through here and cut about uh, halfway. I'm gonna cut them off. At least get past this uh, gearbox. And uh, cause I'm gonna be in some, some thick hay. And it really, when I got into thick hay last time, it was a pain. I had to stop and clean out about four times. But, uh, I'm going to try not to have to do that this time. There's a bunch of them I'm going to have to cut off, so I'm going to get a cut-off wheel. Or I'm going to get my grinder with a cut-off wheel. Get, rip them off right quick. And we'll be good for tomorrow. And uh, we'll try, try to get a video tomorrow of, of it in action. It definitely helped putting new teeth on here. And it didn't really hurt me having to take a few of them back off. I mean, it was raking very clean. And it turns plenty fast other than you know the issue i was having so i think i'm gonna be all right if i do what i plan on doing so let me bring you back and i get all these cut off hey right, everybody well i got everything cut so what i did first is i went through and i removed all the ones that was hitting and i stuck a piece of tape over the hole so that i would know that they, you know don't need to be anything there i'll take all this tape off and then I marked basically where it would be for this one right here. So it's going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Basically, four springs are back. So as you can see, this one. So everything from here over has been cut, and I just I just cut the tips off of them versus you know having a long one. So hopefully that's going to prevent it from picking that hay up too far i'd rather just slide it over to the side don't know for sure till tomorrow so uh hopefully we'll get some video see how it does so anyway i appreciate y'all watching and I'm, like i said i'm sorry it took so long to make this video i think this is like what part four or five i don't remember now but uh anyway thanks for watching and please rate comment subscribe if you haven't